Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host today, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to Inscription, where there's so many more secrets for us to discover. But first, let's get our teeth from the skull, as is good. Now, according to all of you, I need to use the dagger to get some to get a special type of eye. And that ought to prove interesting. And also that this has some sort of secret. So I do not relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will enjoy it as much I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will enjoy it as much as I do. Oh. So do I just have a smoke card now? Alright, that's pretty cool. Those contain nothing. Another thing I was told was the clock. And that I should try setting everything to midnight, I think it said. No? Hmm. Well, that's all I could get from that, so let's continue on our way now. Hello there. No, you may not choose a Pacific beast. Instead, you must decide on a tribe that you prefer. Okay. Well, then we've got what looks to be beast, insect, and avian. And given the type of person I am, avian is a death sentence. So I will go for beast, the proud wolf, a vicious contender. A randomly chosen canine card. Did you wish for something else? Maybe another card? So what do I have in my deck? Two wolves, a stink bug, a stoat, and a bullfrog. Wait, what about the smoke I just get picked up? Does that just automatically appear in my hand or something? What the heck is this? An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Choose. Okay. That's the ant symbol, that's the flying symbol, that's the guarding, guard versus fly. Let's choose the ant symbol. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The ant spawner sigil that will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Oh! Okay. How will that work? And that's a sprinter sigil. That's kind of pathetic. Who gives a damn? <laughs> me, me again. A lucky draw. So, what does this ant spawner? When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Ha. Huh. Oh, so. My squirrels now spawn ants. That's an interesting way for us to do things. So every time I put down a squirrel, I can just put down another ant. Huh, this is gonna be horde tactics and a half, isn't it? That... That can get ridicu- kinda ridiculous, kinda fast. Can't it? I'm going to enjoy that! Alright, so what lays ahead of us? Pick another type beast. What do we have? Insect, what looks to be lizard, and canine. Well, I clearly know what I'm picking. Insect, a cockroach. Oh, a cockroach is amazing. We can sacrifice so much with a cockroach. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Uh, I don't know if I want any of this, unless I want... I mean, I like the counteract thing, but having my squirrels just create something I can then just play is... 
kind of nice, honestly. The old woman collected her pieces and snuffed out off into the darkness. Can I have more than one totem? So if I get another head, can I put make more than one? Right, so how should I do this? If I go to the left to the elite, I can get the trapper for, for my pelt. And then a bonfire. If I go the other way, I'm given a card and a rucksack. And I definitely don't need the rucksack right now. I'm gonna go for the elite fight. Just to see what might lie ahead. Ah! Dodging birds! Okay. Well, let's prepare my ants. Go, my ants. Murder the, sp murder the birds. You know, I wonder what it says about me, the fact I've just become some sort of insect mania thing. Also, I've just won. Man, that's why I like this. It scales ridiculously quick. Oh, that's the trader. So I've got the trapper right ahead, which then can give me something. And then i got the trader right ahead, ahead, ahead of that. Oh yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's do that. I'll, I'll be clear with you. The trapping business has been lagging. After being defeated by that challenger. Well, I'm thinking of clearing me inventory. Trying something else. Pilts are cheaper now. Oh! Oh wow, they're significantly cheaper. How many of these do I have? I'm good with that. I'm not, I don't even use my deck, so I'm definitely good with that. You have my gratitude. Alright then, well. What can I possibly get at the fire? Bonus health. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Though the... Though Though the ten hungry eyes around it damp dampened the greetings. Warm a creature by the fire! Enhance its health! Said, w said one. <laughs> Do what you must! Nope! <laughs> I like how he's just like, nope! Not doing that! Don't you worry, I prefer the stink book. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your stink bug. Ooh, auto a dodging. Interesting choice. Salutations. Greetings, good chap. Uh. I must summon tons of ants. I must summon tons of ants. I will summon lots and lots and lots of ants. They will just annihilate it all. You know, this feels like I should be advertising the ants game right now. You know that mobile thing you keep seeing advertised occasionally. I feel I should be this should be a promotion video for that right now. And it I am anticipating some extraordinary pelts. Hair pelts. Yeah, I know they're ordinary. What have you got about it? The Ant Queen! Ooh! Tempting. Very tempting. But a black goat. A black goat is always very good. Hmm. But I do love my porcupine. But the black goat can help me summon big creatures. But am I summoning big creatures when all I'm doing is summoning ants and ants and ants and ants? I'll take the black gut no goat none the same. Wolf pelts! What do we have from wolf pelts then? The anti-air ant queen. Ooh, tempting. And the double attack adder. Ooh. The unkillable skunk. What the hell is this? Bell ring. Uh... Weird. I have no idea what that is. How about I take the skunk? But I don't need the skunk, because I just use squirrels. I'll take the ant queen. Incredible! Golden pelts? The hell is that ability? Bell list. When a, when a card bearing the sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power, one health. Ha! Huh. Well, you are... You appear to be every single 
type of species right there, looking at the background of that card. You're an insect, so I feel I should take you, and I, especially as I am focusing insects at the moment. Technically, not really, but technically. And I'm gonna take you, just because I want to know what a chime is. I will make good use of these. I'm sure you will. To the totem lady! The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in her spot in vigor in spite of her considerable age. Right, so I'm gonna take the head just because I have no idea what Oh no, I'm only allowed one one totem. Oh, in that case, I'm happy with my ant summoning squirrels. They seem that that se it seems stupid. Because it just means I've got unlimited army potential. That smoke, it is great indeed. Yeah, apparently. Why is it so great? A chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Uh, I'm so sick of this boss. We are definitely playing as the character we're, this is getting kind of meta, as we're clearly playing the character as the character that was in the videos playing in the game. Stand in the way of me gold, be darned! Right. So. Let's place a squirrel. Squirrel becomes an ant. There we go. We can then take another squirrel. Summon the squirrel. Summon another ant. Take the squirrel again. Summon yet ourselves another ant. Get given a bunch of different cards. Ooh, a cat. Ooh, a magpie. Me mole and the pack. Once you get going with this ant, these ants, these school ants, it gets kind of ridiculous because it's kind of like. No matter what lies ahead, they can't exactly stop me. There's gold in them cards! Yeah, I'm sure there is. Go, 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 gold! I struck gold! Yeah, if you wouldn't mind killing some of that gold now, just so I can summon stuff. Get him! Right, what should I summon now? I'm pretty sure I need to draw first. Yeah, yeah, draw another squirrel. Then I'm going to place a cockroach, because I do need to just have an extra space before I can do anything. So, there we go. So, squirrel. And then, more squirrel. <laughs> Easy pass. Just pop that mule. Yeah, we've done that. Shame you couldn't do anything bigger. Is there any way I can actually get more than four damage out? Not really. Not unless... Yeah, you. Su I summoned something good there. Nope. Okay. The power of the ants knows no bounds. <laughs> you will not perish quite yet. What do you mean quite yet? I would think at all. This, these squirrel ants are stupid. Perhaps one of these will entice you. I mean... They don't really, but... I'll take the mole man. Maybe I can sacrifice the mole man onto something. I don't know. Free of the prospector's unhinged gaze, you looked ahead. We will need another map. As the air grew humid, your boots became harder to pull from the mud. The dank smell of trepid water invaded your nostrils. You had reached the wetlands. All right, let's see what I get from cards. The industrious beaver, when played, it constructs dams adjacent to it. Okay. River snapper. Ah, the diligent worker ant. Its strength is a proportionate to the size of its colony. Yeah, I worked that out. I'll take the beaver just because, again, I want to know what happens when I make those dams to the side of it. 
What the hell is the mushroom? Well then, what should I sacrifice? Maybe, maybe I should put the cockroach on the goat, and then I get unkillable goat. I mean, that would matter if anything I was doing mattered. I could take your bells and put it onto something. Same with your beaverness. Or the trifecta attack. Actually, given your stink and the mole man, maybe putting the mole man onto the... onto the stink bug wouldn't be the worst idea. Just because then he auto-defends and he reduces the attack of anything that defends him. Yes! More power! I mean, it's never going to come into play because of the fact I'm just using ants, 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 ants. But, you know, maybe. Hello, skink. The ants grow bigger. They grow more powerful. The ants are unending. The ants know no mercy. I'm going to go for the, the, the challenge. Just because I want to know what the mushroom is. And I think the challenge might be better because we can get special cards. What do we got? The power of trial. The, the trial of power. Okay. The trial of kin. Ha. Huh. The trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Oh, that sounds amazing. Let's do that. Let the trial of wisdom begin. Ah, <laughs> oh, really? Failure, the creature whispered as it faded into darkness. Stupid stoat. Alright, what the hell are you? Okay. You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a thick of black, a thick cloud of spores. We are mycologists, yes? Yes! And we are performing our experiments far from, from... We are not welcome anywhere else! We will experiment on your flock, yes? We, we, we will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us! Huh. Well, I got two wolves. Let's see what this does. Uh, I think this could be messy. Look away! The, the wolf. It is now one. What did you do to the poor wolf to make it into one creature? The rattler. Okay. Now, do I want to sacrifice the, uh, the the squirrel or do I want to use the ant just to figure out what this does? You know what? I'm going to sacrifice both of these and put down the dal. So what does this do? Creates a chime, which is just a random one HP thing. Wow, that's crap. Like, does that not do anything else? Oh, he kills any- he attacks anything that kills a chime. Okay, that's actually not too bad then. That's actually kind of cool. You will face my worker, Ants, and you will die. Yes, I think you've got me this time. I don't care, I can make more... I can get more pow more teeth out of you. Shut up and accept your death the hard way. Yes, give me my overkill. Right. I still need to use the knife. I know I need to use the knife. The knife is what I've been told to use, but... Alright, what have we got? Cockroach, interesting. Reginald. Okay... Huh. Reginald is a, is a insta-kill thing. I love how I'm not even relying on any of the sigils and whatnot. I'm relying on the... The, the what am I calling it? I kind of want the cockroach, just in case we get a... Another one of those mycologists to combine the cockroach with. Although, then again, the cockroach is, is always better off being sacrificed for something else. So, maybe if I take the cockroach and sacrifice it... And put it onto the black goat. I now have an unkillable sacrifice. Because why not? Oh, and look, the mycologists are right there. 
Should I just use the, the knife and get it over with? See if I get this thing everyone's told me to get? You can't kill my ants fast enough! They are undying! We are legion! Plus, I've kind of already won. But I'm still going to take the fun of killing every single one of your things. Marvelous. And right there is the boss. What do I have? A Sparrow, an Addo, and the Rat King. The Tragic Rat King. When their tangled bones become corpses, you will gain four bones. I mean, cool and all, but it's not worth two. What else you got for me? River Snapper, Cockroach, and Elk. If I take the Cockroach, I can make a Mega Cockroach. D -d -d Did you bring us two of the same? We would- we'd like to experiment! Yeah, I brought you two cockroaches. Have fun. You may- you, you may want to avert your eyes! You, you now have but one cockroach. Is it stronger? Yes, I'm pretty sure it is very much stronger. Time to fight the angler! Fight me, Mr. Angler! You beheld an immense man slouched beside a mucky pond. He appeared to be tearing hulks of f flesh from a fresh co fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back to the pond, where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up. And some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's throat mouth. You bring fresh fish? Easy choose. Right, ooh, I got the Ant Queen, did I? Ooh, I could summon the Ant Queen straight off the bat. That might not be the worst thing. Especially as it's anti-fly. Meaning it could defend against that. But... I'm not a fan of that. I can now take the Cockroach. And... Sacrifice the Cockroach. For another Ant. Yeah! Old stale, hard shoes. Take new fish, easy. Should I let you just have the squirrel? I mean, I kinda wanna sacrifice a squirrel for an ant, but... I can't remember if you take it at the beginning or the end. I'm gonna just assume you take it at the beginning. You do not take it at the beginning. Die already. Yeah, no no kidding. Go fish. Okay then. Hmm, those summoned sharks of some sort, didn't they? Did each, didn't each of those. And considering let this is the ultimate board I love it the, the ant queen and her three workers just kill go fish and I mean even after you kill everything of mine it doesn't matter because your fish are go underwater and so I win anyway and in fact, let's summon Mega Wolf. And Mega Cockroach, because I can. All of the overkill! <laughs> Reignite. Will one of these perhaps take your interest? Probably not. The eternal spirit, de death strengthens it forever. What? Child 13 and the Ure Yuli. Unkillable. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Isn't that just what the cockroach has? But it said that it strengthens it forever. I'll take it. Unkillable cards are never too bad. Moving past the pond, you took a deep breath of fresh air and continued on. A moment. 
The relief of fresh air quickly gave way to the to a bone shaking chill. You get you guessed at the path ahead. You guessed at the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. You would climb to the snow line. Oh, we're getting a lot of these trial things ahead of us. So Yeah, you've got both got the same thing. What makes you so special then, Mr. Ouroboros? Alright, what trials you got? Trial of bones! Probably not. Trial of power? Probably not. Trial of kin. Uh how much power was it? Four. Well, I've got two with two, one with ze two with zero, and then one which is six, which if I get, I just insta-win. What about bones? Oh, I've only got two cards that cost bones. That's useless. You know what? I'll go with power. Screw it. Let the trial of power begin. <laughs> Fingers crossed indeed, little stout you got. We got it from the wolf. Hallelujah, mega wolf. Again, what are you, Mr. Tentacle Monster Thingy? I wonder. I've got a beaver already. But the two beavers count as being the same for the mycologists. And thus, if I do that, will one be empowered with the rest? I am interested in that now. But still, let's sacrifice something. What do I want to sacrifice? Uh... Look, the chimes are kind of cool, but you yourself are kind of pathetic. Alright, I'm going to sacrifice the chimes and put them on... The co... Is that a phone? And put them on... The cockroach. I guess. It doesn't matter, my entire tactic is just ants, 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 and ants. It's nice to- it- nice. Top deck. Well, that's a lot of things you just summoned. And because, you know what? I actually don't want to deal with any of this crap. I'm just gonna do what the entire- what all the comments told me and take out my eye! Oh, oh, ah! Eh, I win. It only cost me an eye. I imagine you'd like to replace that eye you lost. Right, okay, let's try mm, this eye. What's special? Is this eye special? The choice is final. Hmm. Is there anything I can see different with this eye? I was told to look for some sort of runic eye. Also, why do you... Do your bone, do your teeth keep resetting? Trial of bones? Yep, we're not doing that. Trial of blood? Maybe. Trial of power? Well, trial of power is probably the best shot. Yep, we win. Thank you, wolf. A mole with the guardian seems redundant. And a beaver with the, with the loose tail seems stupid. And an alpha with the borrower seems equally stupid. So I'm going to go with the beaver and see if I can get the mycologists to work again. Right, what can I sacrifice now? <laughs> and what would it be for? I feel I'm going to sacrifice the mantis god and put it on Mega Wolf. Just because that's, you know, 18 damage right there. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Hi, Mole Man. Interesting choice right there. That is, um... Actually, very big things you have just summoned. So... I will legit summon the wolf this time. And then put the stink bug... There, so that the mole doesn't actually, so it doesn't actually attack the mole. Besides, when that thing attacks, you'll get in the way anyway. And I win anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Alright, what lies ahead? If I go left, I get cards, discard a card, which can give me bo starting bones. A battle and then choose a card. The other way I get the trial, totems, elite fight, and the trapper. 
And I don't care about the trapper, so let's go with this way. The venerable Alpha, it, its courage emboldens the creature that stands next to it. I'll take you just for a sacrifice. Pick something else. Why should I? Um, I like how bo both of the things which are aware of what's going on are just like, uh, please no, please don't. Don't worry, I'm just going to sacrifice an ordinary beaver considering I've got two special beavers. There were no extra mycologists. Shame. Well, the power of ants is going to continue on its hard work. Oh, that's bad. Ha. Huh. When I summon the ant, you'll kill that, you'll kill that, but I won't be able to do any damage to anyone, so I still need to be able to kill everything. So. How much health do you... Damage do you do? One. That isn't enough. I am one damage short, so if anything attacks, I lose. Let's grab the squirrel. Put it put the extra ant there, and then the alpha there. There we go, I just cleared the board. Okay. Let's sacrifice two ants, put the wolf there, put down the squirrel, put down the next ant, and whack, 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 whack. And I now have too many teeth. Absolutely too many teeth. I know I said I didn't need the trapper, and I don't. The regal moose, creatures of the wild, have made quay for it. A, a nascent raven, it is no less conniving in its, incuba in, in its incubation. I don't care about any of these. What else you got for me? Vulture, sparrow. The bountiful warren, it summons a rabbit when, pl when it is played. I mean, I don't need it, but it's probably better than everything else. And then one final totem. Hello, totem. None of these have any relevance to me. Because they will not beat permanent spawning ants. Let's go. You took in the familiar sights and the scents of the trapper's pelts. But something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you with a steely gaze. I'm afraid I'll be skinning you today. Oh, interesting. Ant Queen. Hmm. I can summon the Ant Queen immediately. Put down the worker ant. And you know what? I'm just going to put down the Greater Smoke right there because the Greater Smoke can actually attack. So it'll start attacking, which will be good enough for me. So let's go. Right. I can't wait to see what your phase two actually is. Sacrifice this worker ant for the warren. You die, I get the bones, blah blah blah. Oh, interesting, you summon a wolf. You know, if I put down the alpha right there, it would encourage the warren to attack the trap, which probably isn't the worst thing. Actually, no, I can summon the Ant Queen next turn. Never mind. Yeah, you may think you're winning with the what you just did, but assure, let me assure you, you are not! For I place down the Warren. I place down an Ant Queen. I place a Squirrel. 
and I place an ant because then it'll attack whatever the, the thing behind there too. Do I want to attack that as well just to get it off the field? Yeah, I think I do. Oh, interesting. The damage doesn't pass over. Of course you summon an adder in front of my queen. You absolutely... You know what? Screw you. By doing that, I win. And I get to keep my queen. Ha! The ants are invincible! Exquisite pelt, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade! Oh my god, is the, the mask of the trader literally the, the trapper upside down? That's, that's excellent use of your own materials. Powerful guard. Powerful, powerful cards. I will, powerful cards. I will only accept the finest pelts for them. Oh, so the fact I made pelts in my hand was so that I could buy all of this stuff. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, in theory, if I just go yoink. Trade what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Yeah, I kind of assumed. So if I just do that, then... I would have chosen differently. Yeah, then you're an idiot, because now I just summon another squirrel, place down the squirrel, place down the ant for the squirrel, and reign in the power of the ants! I love my ants. I love my ants. Your lives are restored. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Probably not. Less than likely. The Holy Mantis God. A perfect incar incarnation of terror. Canine, hooved, reptilian, feathered, insectoid. The amalgamation is all. Is all. So I was right about you. Okay. Well, I'll take the pack rat just because I'm kind of low on items, actually. The mystery of the trapper and trader occupied your thoughts as you wandered onwards. A light in the distance caught your eye. A moment. Ah, uh, how many cards do I have? I actually don't have too many. If I sacrifice something, it would be the pack rat onto something. Maybe the Ouroboros, considering it's unkillable. But I'm also better off just going for the backpack itself. Hey, look, a knife. It's probably too late for you, but I'll take you none the same. Oh. Oh no, you can't use that. If you deem it necessary, you can cut up one of my cards with these. Failure to the user. Nothing good will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. Are you sure about that? The warm light of the cabin cut through the th thick fog. Surely your tribulations ended here. Not even close. Alright, give me my trial. A rare opportunity arose. The great boons of Leshy's woods were on offer. So you're called Leshy. The Trial of Skins. Nope, I don't have a pelt. The Trial of Airborne. Nope, don't have that. Trial of... Okay, fuck me. <laughs> I think the only one I might be able to do is the winged, and I'm pretty sure I can't. Not a single thing matters. Let's try again, shall we? Card of Rarity. Yep, yeah, I might be able to do that. Swift and Ring. I don't know where to get a ring. The comment said something about midnight, but... Ah, Ouroboros is a rare card. Ah, oh, yeah, so it is. Success. Choose a boon. Grand Thurs, no. B boon of the Ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. 
No, I'll take the ambidextrous. Two squirrels every turn. <laughs> Hi, Leshy! I'm coming to kill you! You managed to get a boon. This may be this may be a fair competition. Oh trust me, it was gonna be a fair competition anyway, because you can't beat the power of ants. Actually the moon might be able to. I did take the dagger, good. You're back. Sit. Well, looks like I'll have to beat him again. Oh how I relish this moment. Well, two flames will not suffice this time. Okay, Leshy. Considering you gave it to me on the first turn, let's just play it proper. There we go. I win. The blood so the moon the moon soaked the forest bed, gave rise to shadowy figures, gasping for night air after their long and torturous slumber. Ah yes, I remember that one. Do you now? Excuse me, I need to summon my ants. This is so ridiculous. I I'm s th what made that ridiculous was the fact I got my super wolf on the first turn. It's, I feel bad now because it's not even the ants which are winning the game right now. It's the super wolf. Oh yes, it still works just fine. You know what, screw it, let's pick from the pile. What do I get? Ooh, a st stink bug. Oh, I was told there's special dialogue if I give the mo moon... If I stinkify the moon, so... Well, the moon's got zero attack, so... What is this? Weakening my moon with the, stig the stinky sigil. It makes no sense! Moons don't, do not have a sense of smell. This is not how I imagined this battle going. <laughs> I'm sure it isn't. I'm sure it isn't. But guess what? It's what happened. You're not the first to triumph over the moon, but go on, finish it. Well. That's how you overkill something. With Mega Wolf. That was a good run. Apparently totems are ridiculous if you can get something really good on a squirrel. You had won the respect of the strange cabin's inhabitant. Your body quaked, with, quaked as adrenaline of the battle subsided. Leaving you with a craving a gnaw, with a gnawing hunger, you had not eaten for days. Is, is it not so? Woo! Woo! I win again! Surely this food will please you. I took extra care in preparing it. It honestly looks like a big giant pile of mincemeat, so I honestly have nothing against it. Really? This does not meet your standards? Very well. Oh, I didn't use the green goo! God damn it! Stand there. Yeah, hi, Leshy. Yes, it is my common, and no, it does not function without a loaded, fu loaded film roll. You are a champion, and I wish to immortalize you. Please inscribe your wi winner. Para bug. Because I did that with bugs. Be still now. You won. So what's going on here? Another challenger approaches. Your predecessor defied the odds and defeated me. There what? No, he didn't. It is unlikely to happen again. Your starting deck. Same as always. 
Oh, you're giving me a lot of options initially. Well, what's changed? Again, what happens if I put you to midnight? Nothing. I need a squirrel and a corpse maggots. Okay. What do you do? You do nothing. Can't seem to do anything with the mushrooms. That's just lit up for some reason. That looks like the symbol of the Bone Lord. Alright, so how does Power Bug look? Power Bug was wearing a hat. Just as he should be. Right. So, where are we going first? The answer is easy. First we're going there because we get a totem. I could go there because of the fact I get a totem over there too, but... I just want to get the totem as quick as possible. Uh, I'll go with K9. Alpha! Interesting. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Oh, squirrels give bones. Another, without a, another word, the woodcarver was gone. The, okay, so I want as many bones as po bone costs as possible then. From the sounds of it. That is a useless totem. Great draw! Sure, whatever you say. What? Pronghorn, double attack. Really? You absolute ass. I'm just gonna do that because I don't trust the... The pronghorn. Right now. Hmm. Take you. Sacrifice you and the frog. Take the stink bug and put it there. Okay. Good. And then that moves. And I don't think it matters. Especially as I can now put you there to just increase the power of the wolf. Still never summoned a beaver to see what dams did. But I assume they're just lesser versions of chimes. Do I want deer? Deer, insect, or s snake? I'm gonna try insect. The regal ant queen. She births a new ant once played. I mean, it's not gonna be quite as powerful as the last build I had, but... I'm kinda just looking for th stuff I can... You know, what do I want to increase the power of? Why do you look even more square now? I want to increase the power of the alpha, considering I can summon it so easy. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your alpha. What the hell is that sim that mining symbol-like thing right there? A lucky draw! Another pro pronghorn. Can't exactly summon anything this turn, so you know what? We're just gonna end. You move down, hit, hit, whack, whack, yeah, yeah. I summon a squirrel. Put the squirrel, put the wolf there to kill the thing. Put stinky bug there. There we go. What do I get from the deck? A stoat. Stoat is meh. Bullfrog. Who cares? I win. Right. Now, what the Christ are you? You came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. You caught me off guard! Not supposed to see me till further down the road! Say, I like me a gamble! If and me... If and ye can pick a boulder that has some gold in it, you can keep it! Show me where to strike here! Dag nabbit, no gold! But that is a fun, funny looking varmint! Keep it! That's actually a decent card. It gives stuff upon being hit and automatically defends. Thank you, that's actually a decent. That's actually a really good one. Now, what can I sacrifice and what should I sacrifice? 
I'm gonna sacrifice the the bullfrog and put it on the stoat. Just give the stoat a purpose. <laughs> Fine choice. Is it? Is it really? You only get one sigil, but I need more bone costs. Man, you really like that pronghorn, don't you? Do that. You can't attack. Now you're gonna attack both of them. What can I summon? The alpha. Okay. Can't exactly do anything with the alpha this turn, so I'll just attack. Let death take me. Right. If you now just go there... I can sacrifice you and you, summon the wolf, and then I can put the alpha there to improve the... that. Right. What can I summon now? Beehive. If I, it doesn't matter, I'm about to win. There we go. Right. I... I think I actually want the trapper right now because I the, that may be the best way for me to get bone cost cards. Well, you don't want to hear it. Cheaper prices. Enjoy. Have a free one. What have I got? I can buy one of you. Two. I don't know if there's a wreck. The, the golden ones only give me rare cards, and I don't think there's a bone cost rare card. And bone costs are definitely what we want right now. Wow, I have almost no creatures. I cannot risk going to a sacrifice. I have nothing to sacrifice. Hmm. You can't take more than three items, and you have three. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from a friend. Ooh. The Pugent Rat Pack. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Thanks, I'll actually happily take that. So if you go to a backpack with a full stock, I with full items, you get a backpack. Okay, good to know. You passed an, a massive empty bowl, surrounded by heaps of unidentified giblets and scatlings. It seemed the bowl was designed for a dog. But what earthly hound would require a meal of that size? Where's that hound of mine? Right, let's see, let's see. Uh, well, I... Summon you there to ki start killing the mule. I summon you and put down a beehive, which will then summon something for us to kill. I get a bee, which can actually kill. And I get a wolf pelt. Um, I really need to kill that thing, actually. That was a mistake. Pecking damn it. If I put the alpha there, and then a pelt there, can I actually just... I can give the pelt attack. I gave the pelt the ability to kill. I am not against this. Let's pick a squirrel already, because we might be about to win? Either way, I get a bunch of cards. Mamul! Curse you! Corp corpses are in no short supply. I'm sorry, what does this do? Corpse Eater, if a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically put, put in its place. Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Well, either way, one attack and I win, so... Blonk. There's gold in them cards! Gold! That's struck gold! Oh, you get to keep the previous attack things, do you? Well, I didn't realize that. Hmm. 
Let's draw something from my deck. I need killer things. Mm, um, this is a very bad scenario, actually. Get him! <laughs> boss time, eh? Yes, boss time. Definite. You're needed. Thank you. Stink bug. There. If I summon the magpie, it'll do some damage and also take a hit. But it'll basically cost me all of my squirrels. If I do that, the dog has less power. And then I do that, it'll kill everything that needs to die. Ah, wolf. Perfect. That's something I needed. So if I place a squirrel, I can then sacrifice a squirrel in the stink bug. Death again! The, the wolf will kill you, I guess. And while you summon us a, an adder, it doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure I've won. Ooh, the pack rat. Yeah, that was a little dicey. That might have been one I wanted to summon the use the dagger. Let me relight your candles. Perhaps one of these will entice you. The amorphous amoeba, its sigils are ever changing. Well, it costs bone, so that's an advantage to me. And I'm definitely the bone character this time. Wiping the dust from your trousers, you return to your journey. Let me think. Tripid water flooded your boots. Flies swarmed around you. You entered the wetlands. Oh, there's me. That's not an argument. Let's go to the campfire. I don't really need the another backpack rat. You want to increase health this time. What would be good for increasing health? The beehive! The beehive needs more health. The survivors were right about the flames. They didn't enhance the creature's health. And then you leave before it can get eaten. I can summon fork all. Okay. I can still summon fork all. Okay. Um. If I summon you. The squirrel then takes the da- Will then die. I need to get rid of these goddamn pelts. And now, because I have enough- Ability. Oh, hi, me. Uh, mm, that's decent. Uh, I'm just going to put myself right there. An alpha there to further increase my power. And you know what? A golden pelt, because screw it. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Pack rat. I don't gain anything from the pack rat. Just kill. And all of the teeth. Actually, right now I wonder. Do you have more teeth? You do have more teeth. Where do you get your teeth from? And how do I get that corpse maggot? That maggot corpse. Kylie. Double attack and... Repl and what am I call it? Hmm, interesting. He's not that special, but it's probably the best one I would have got from that lot of crap. All right, Kingfisher. Do I have any doubles? Um, I do not have any doubles. Do I need another totem? Admittedly, bones are being a bit iffy about being summoned, so you know what? Screw it, I'll risk the totem fight. I've got the dagger, if nothing else. So, what are you giving me? Uh, guard dog. Meh. I mean, I'll take it, but I'll, my bony squirrels are still better. Evolving bugs! Huh. Interesting choice right there, good chap. Uh, 
What the heck's a ringworm? Well, let's summon a beehive just to take the damage of the two ants. Right, I've got things to sacrifice now, and oh, I just summoned myself. Oh, I just sacrificed myself because I'm so used to being him being unkillable. Oh, fuck. Uh, you know what? Now's the time for that dagger! <laughs> oop, 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 oop. I gotta remember, I'm not unkillable on this run. Oops. I imagine you'd like to replace that lost eye. I would, actually. Thank you. Uh, let's try this one. Seems pretty ordinary. Let's now use all those pelts I have, shall we? You brought me fine pelts? I did. I have two rabbit pelts. Let me see. What have I got in my deck? Especially as I got a mycologist after this. Oh, the corpse maggots. What the hell's this? Mirror. I have no idea what that means. Well, I'll take the corpse maggots, and then I'll take a black goat. Wolf pelts! Unkillable otter. Interesting. And because it ducks underground, it was equally unkillable. Huh. You know what? Let's take the unkillable river otter. And then I'll take... Oh. Oh, I just got a corpse maggot, right? Yeah. And that's a corpse maggot right there. So this will be able to confirm my question about whether we can combine things if they've got souls attached and whatnot. Oh, I can get double amoeba as well. But I can also get a mantis god, which I can then give to something else. That would equally be interesting. How many bone costs do I have at the moment? I've got quite a lot of bone costs at the moment, actually. Maybe I should take the amoeba just so I don't waste the mycologist just in case. Hello. You, you, we, we, we need duplicates. One for each of us. So I can duplicate them. Okay. Well then let's duplicate the corpse maggots because... Actually, no. I know that now. And I also know I need to summon a corpse maggot to get the thing on the wall. So let's get an amoeba. You, you should... Uh, you don't want to see this! The operation is complete. It's actually awfully cheap two bones for a two health four thing, what I'm gonna call it, so... Alright, let's see. Right, this actually worked out pretty well. I can go squirrel. I can go... River otter. I can go die black goat and then summon a wolf. Okay. Summon, what do I get? Salutations! Salutations, good to see you. How are you doing? Uh, I'm just going to stick with that because it'll kill the coyote behind it as well. And now I believe we should just win. Well, there's a corpse maggots I need. I need those corpse maggots on my very first turn, is all I can th think, to be able to make it viable. Uh, I don't need another totem, I probably want the fireplace, so let's go to the... this. Uh... River- I really don't like- the, the river otter's better than the kingfisher, because at least the river otter can kill things, but it still just doesn't have enough attack. The unappreciated ringworm. Its value is not readily apparent. You know, I kind of wonder what would have happened if you evolved. But you're also bones, so... The crackling fire lit the, s the starving faces of the group of survivors. We have not food, but perhaps one of your creatures will join us and enhance its power? <laughs> what do I want to enhance the power of? Probably me. Probably me. Yeah, me. Let's increase my power. 
The survivors were right about the flames. It enhanced the creature's f f powers. But the f leaving the cannibals behind, you may you bring yourself to what the the boss. What you mistook for a misshapen boulder appeared to be a hulking man. You attempted to sneak past him, but your foot made contact with a metal bucket. I am the angler. You are the fish. <laughs> nice, topside deck. Well, I just win the first round instantly. As well as the entire game, so... Goddamn. Go fish. Yeah, I don't think we will be. Alright, you can now give me as many bones as possible. Or teeth as possible. I am the most overpowered thing to ever walk the earth. Reignite. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Screw it, I'll go with the Ouroboros. I want the unkillable. I need to make Parafox unkillable again. The Angler's foul smell slowly faded as you continued on. A moment. The, I the sheets of icy snow battered your body as you fought your way up to the vantage point. The snow-covered trees jotted from their landscape like prickly, misshapen teeth. You continued through the snow line. I'm actually only got two items, don't I? Hmm, maybe the backpack wouldn't be the best or worst, but all I need to do is summon my goddamn pack rat and I'll be fine. So, let's go with the trial. Trial of bones? Oh, that's gonna be easy. Trial of power? And two kin. No, I'm gonna go with bones. Everything in my deck is bone cost. There we go. We win. Five from the alpha, zero from the pack rat. The trial has passed. What do I get? Vulture. Elk. River snapper. River snapper with triple cost for some reason. Elk with double attack. And you. You know what? I'll take the vulture. Just because I think now is the only time I could ever make use of that many bones. Ah, plus two health. Yeah, I know exactly what's getting you. Hey, beehive! You need more health. We need to enhance the beehive. <laughs> oh, I forgot the stoat had. What am I call it? Well, I am now going to summon double squirrel, and then summon a wolf. Because I do not need to take care of that vulture, thank you. Right, now give me something with bones. Or a Boris. That's not bones. But it is unkillable, so I can use it. Bones. Vulture. There we go. Not bad. I just realized you got guard dog, which means you'll probably be attacked. Which, But that also doesn't really matter all too much. Corpse maggots. Okay, there are the corpse maggots. How do I get the corpse maggots on the field? Answer, I don't. I win. I don't see any way to buy cards in the future. but I, And I do like the fireplace. You know what? Screw it. Hello, trial. Give me something else that's special. Bones! I don't need to pick another. Eight from the turkey vulture, five from the alpha, two from the amoeba. I definitely pass. I got triple what was asked of me. Double attack ringworm. I don't think I want that. Mantis. Which create has stinky, so I can put it in front of something that has one attack, and thus it won't be able to kill it. Tempting. You having triple cost is just kind of useless, so I'll take the mantis. Enhance power. What needs more power? I need more power. Okay. Summon something, I get a mantis. That's terrible for this situation. Or is it? Because I can sacrifice the, the stoat for the mantis. The mantis will kill the fawn, 
And while the ravens will live, they get significantly less damage. Oh, but I need something to kill now. Oh, and you're going to attack that, which is going to kill you as well. God damn it! I'm not going to survive the round, am I? Nope, absolutely not. Okay, never mind. I don't see any way I could have survived that. Actually, I could have used the hook of the angler. I should have used the hook of the angler. I'm an idiot. Trial of kin, trial of bones. That's the one we're after. Come on, we know we have a ton of bones. Really? I failed. Huh. Who cares? All right, what needs enhanced power? What needs enhanced power? Probably one of the... You know what? Probably you, for considering your multi-attack. Ooh. Corpse maggots. Oh. Oh. But you're flying. Meaning I can't do anything about you. Why is everything fucking flying right now? I'm actually gonna die now. I can already tell. Pack rat. Of course it's a pack rat. Alright, pull over the turkey vulture. I get what I need over there. Then I sacrifice a squirrel for the beehive. I don't know if the corpse maggot thing has it so that it has to be the only thing on the map for it. And I get a squirrel for summoning the pack rat. You know what? I can work with a squirrel. Okay. And like that, I think I win. Unfortunately. Oh, and look, there's the other corpse maggot. Do I have any copies? I don't think I have any copies. No, I've got double corpse maggot. But I'm still trying to get the thing on the wall, so I probably want the corpse maggots as separate. So let's go for a different card instead, especially as I don't have anything I can buy from the trader. Yeah, I'll take a magpie. Magpie means I can find and summon myself. Ah, another two health. I wonder which I will give that. I have a very tanky beehive. You shouldn't have come here. Really? You really think that? I, Because I think I'm fine with coming here. I just question whether I'll be able to do anything here. That's all. Uh, hmm. Wait a moment. If I put you there, and then you sacrifice and put you there, then I, you'll be summoned there, and then I can put a squirrel on the other side. Like that. So summon a squirrel. Put the squirrel there. And something happened behind me. What that means now is that we're good for a while. If I summon a squirrel, put it there. You'll probably do that on those and then that the squirrel will get... But, well, the squirrels will get trapped up. Turning them into pelts. Yep. Okay. Next, I summon another squirrel. And I might as well just put it there. Because I've already won. Plonk. Cool. Come, Miss Trader. I have three pelts and I know exactly what I'm buying with them. It doesn't matter what you're selling me. I know exactly what I'm buying. I hope you brought pelts. Oh, you have no idea that I brought pelts. Well, I'm buying this thing, I'm buying this thing, I'm buying this thing, and then I, you know what, I think I'll buy the, the vulture. 
And why will I buy the vulture? Well, that's very simple, because I can then just simply put it down. All right, let's go. Ah, such gloriousness. I am truly the most powerful thing to ever walk the earth. Reignite. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Uh, yeah, a mole man might. I guess. Mole man's probably decent at this point. Unlike the rest. You you sneezed as the thick musk of pelts faded from the air. A sense of fi final finality came over you as you noticed them. Uh, noted came over you as you moved towards a light in the distance. Let me see. Oh, we're right at the end. Actually, I can get up now and get this. What the heck is this? Oh! Your persistence is growing quite tiresome. Do you truly wish for your skill to be masked by this cheat? How will I know if you are truly a worthy opponent? Well, for one, I've done what you asked. No midnight? What is that midnight comment I was told then all about? I wonder. Weird. Alright, well. I probably need the backpack most of all, I won't be not deny. Uh, I'll actually take the pig. And then the goo, because I'm going to remember to use the goo this time. Surely this cabin marked the end of your tra travels. Alright, Leshy, give me your boons. I wish to at least find one. Preferably the one that lets me pick anything from my deck. Airborne, I can do that. Sprinter, can't do that. Ring, I'll take the airborne and hope. Nope, okay, fine, fine, whatever. What else you got? Trial of skins, nope. Trial of Rarity, maybe. Trial of Fiend, I'm better off with Rarity. Let's do this. Yes! Thank you, Mole Man! Thank you, Pack Rat! What boons do you give me? Boon of the Magpie's Eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any draw card to draw. Ha 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 ha! Oh, give me the Magpie. Oh, give me the Magpie. I know exactly what I want with the Magpie. Just one boon. Very well. It's all I need to kick your behind! <laughs> Hello, Leshy. Are you ready? I am. This will be your th final test. Well, I get two smokes, do I? Another flame. Right, let's see what you get on this first turn. You summon a mole man, do you? Oh, well, how much do you think that's going to help you? Um, hmm. Let's see, if I put down the squirrel, and then put down the river otter in front of it, then the mole man will move forward, stopping that from attacking. And because it's a mole man, it can't attack itself. Now. Now I summon myself. Where am I? There I am. And because I summon myself, I will be able to kill you and then just murder you. So. There we go. Glory be to me. After bearing, after barely enduring the onslaught of rare creatures. Barely? You shuddered, for you knew somehow that the worst was yet to come. Magnificent death cards. Perhaps you will join them soon. I will not. Let's draw a squirrel. I'll probably need a squirrel. In fact, I will need a squirrel, because I can summon the squirrel. Sacrifice the otter. And there we go. M 
marvelous. I still have a trick up my sleeve. Okay. The moon. Will you dare attack the moon? Absolutely. Absolutely I shall dare to attack the moon. I will summon a beehive for your mo precious moon. And let me use this, then. I am serious, you cannot use that. There is no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. Fair enough. Well, let's just, you know, do my damage to the moon. So the moon can only attack me if there's nothing on the board, right? That's what it seems. Well, the moon is dead. The moon is dead. This isn't even that hard. <laughs> Do you have any idea the consequences of destroying an astral body? Yes, your death. No, of course not. Finish this. I love being the. I love being a god. <laughs> so. Having bested the cabin's inhabitant, you were invited to sit. The great scribe regaled you with his stories. Scribe? He told you of a world long past, and of how he had con conquered it. Of how pure his intentions were. How he only wished enough. Eat. I feel I need to defeat you again to be able to, to get more of that story. Are you pleased? Eat it. I wish I could. If you do not pre appreciate it, we can move on. I will not dwell on a rejected gift. Right through here. Stand there. Click, 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 click. It's useless. Only I have the film. I do not wish to forget your victory, and so I would like to prepare a monument to it. Please inscribe your w name. Oh, what should I call myself this time? I don't know, Winner Fox. There we go, Winner Fox, there we go. Stay still for me. Got it! You should be very proud of yourself. I am! Another picture of me. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Uh, hello? You show a picture of the dagger. Yes, people have told me I need to use the dagger. I've been using the dagger. Nothing's been happening. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. The challenger before you defeated me. Now they hang from the door by a nail. What could you hope to accomplish? Here is your deck. Study it. Studied it. I've got all I need from it. Right. Uh. What do I need this time? A moose buck. That's a big one. Here we go. Power winner, winner fox, and power bug. Para bug. I'm so glad I'm wearing a hat again. So... Yeah, I'm really not sure what to make of this. Oh, what about you? The pain is unbearable! We've been after all my fears! What do you want? I have to live very little to live for these days! Okay then, I'll talk to you next time then. For you see everyone, I'm all out of time for today's episode, so it looks like, what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I have been your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time, but I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me 
to bid thee all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.